Thank you for joining Bill Jordan, John Coleman, uh, for another session of We Don't Know What, but it's something about us. Oh, and we talk, you. you know what we do? We talk about ourselves and our state in life. And because it's common, it's common to everybody over 50. You know, you get older and things happen to your body and sometimes they happen at 50 and sometimes they happen at 70. And one of the things that's happened to me, not just recently, but it's those little hairs that I don't want. I mean, I got plenty of hair I do want, right? Mm -hmm. But I, it, I know this is going to sound odd, Bill. But despite the fact that I have a mustache, I don't want all those little hairs in my nose to grow down and be part mm -hmm. of my mustache. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. My daughter, who is in her early 40s, we will be in public. And she'll take her pinky and go, hey, Dad. Might want to uh, put that one away for a while. She's uh, shooting up my nose a little bit. Yeah. Grandkids pulling, yeah, so long hair sticking out oh, of my yeah. ear. Uh, yank. I was reading a book in bed a few weeks ago, and I'm sitting there and I'm scratching my chest and just kind of hair. My, I'm just kind of pulling it, and I grabbed one, and it and it was like it just kept <laughs> pulling. <laughs> That thing must have been like eight inches long. Just one wild one out of the blue. So what does Marianne say? Yank it. Why? It's mine. It's my hair. I will do with it what I please. So, yeah, it, sometimes it grows, you know, where you don't necessarily want it. I don't know why that happens. I'm sure some scientist somewhere knows why that is. The, the other one, sort of a public thing, and I, I've learned to laugh about it, is when you go get your hair cut and the the stylist, because I don't go to a barber, you know, they go to the stylist, and they actually run the clippers over your ear. Yes. Or they shove the edge of the clipper up your nose. Oh, That's yeah. That's the wild one. Yeah. Are we trimming your eyebrows today? No, I think I can handle that. Thank you for the offer. Man, it's, yeah. it's that's just the way it is. I don't know why we get more, what is the word, hair suit? Yeah, it's oh, ear hair and nose. suit. Well done. Hair suit, contemplative. Yeah. Anyway, it's the ears that bother me. I, as much as this bothers me, nobody can tell because I got a mustache. So the ears bother me, and I and I, I can't see them. You know, try, try try to look at one ear in the mirror. It's really difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, you know, that's the thing about you know they say with well, the time changes, you know, spring ahead, fall back kind of thing. That's when you change your batteries and your Smoke detectors, TV remotes, and uh, nose hair trimmers. Mm. That's that's my that's my rule of thumb. Well, you know it's kind of kind of interesting. Uh, I think all of us have uh, either uh, I have a wall WAH for like thirty years. Uh, I trim my I trim my beard uh, once every week or two. Uh, but they sent a little a, ta a little extra thing with a battery operated that has a very soft head that you could actually. Put in your ear without sticking it down to your eardrum and the stirrups and all those things that are hidden in there and get those hairs out would we'll run it over wow. the top edge of your ear without cutting it up with the the razor but oh, i was talking cool. about uh, john you were talking about the hair where you don't want it i have don't want it where i want hair so i mean i'm i'm a little <laughs> bit different but yeah i have i have a granddaughter who always loved finding a hair that was grown out of my ear okay and i tell her don't pull it and she she would grab it just to show you know that it had some length on it. I said, and she was afraid to pull it. And uh, but I finally taught her how if you if you see it, you need to pull it. And of course, it just pops it out. But uh, I remember when we were kids. Didn't you remember uh, these ads in the regular newspaper for like trousers? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't exactly need a uh, what a Brazilian uh, earwax. But it would be sure nice to have one of those or two of those hairs taken out so I don't have to deal with it anymore. The things we talk about. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, you know, it's because we've been there. We've been there first. It happens. Okay. And we're just it, trying it, to it, tell look, the people the road less travel for them. <laughs> it's all about being a baby boomer. <laughs> it's part of it. It's part yeah. of it anyway. To my yeah. fellow baby boomers, live your life. Forget your age. Don't forget to laugh and embrace the boom. Amen. Yeah, and 
and trim your ears once in a while, okay? On occasion. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.